All right, I got a, <laughs> I had to borrow a trailer and a truck from a buddy of mine uh, because my truck has decided it doesn't have any more R's. It got all the D you want. The N and the P are still good to go, but uh, the R's are, they've checked out. They've left the building. We've got a great local transmission shop, but I can't get it in there until uh, like the middle of January. So here it is just before Christmas and I'm without my truck for a while, driving my piece of junk plow truck, which is horrible. Anyway, I'm gonna, I borrow this trailer and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put my wife's tractor on here and go down, don't tell her. Um, I'm gonna go down and plow the sidewalk at the old folks home. Uh, just, I just wanna do it this one time. <clears throat> we got real bad weather coming. I think it's gonna be a lot of rain and I didn't want it on top of a bunch of snow and, and it's right before the Christmas Eve service i'm just doing it hoping you know thinking maybe some of them folks will want to walk to church because it's right close and i don't know if they do that or not but i'll give them the opportunity if i can so that's what we're up to anyways uh probably take longer to load unload load and unload than it will to do the actual plowing but whatever it's all good That's, uh, that's okay. Looks okay, right? I mean, I got the, I got a ratchet strap on, hooked to some metal that's not, it's not, it's not really welded on anymore, but you ever borrow something and think, is this a setup? Am I supposed to destroy this thing and have to buy him a new one? I think I might've been set up. Plus, as a bonus, it's not really long enough. So, you know, but I figured if I can get the ramps out, then we're far enough ahead. I set the parking brake, put the worst ratchet strap I own on there. That's a, I think this is a winning, this is a winning setup. We're gonna get it done. Made it, made it all the way down. You know what I love about this trailer? Nothing, nope, nothing. Um, but it did get me here, so I guess I love that. Uh, we'll get her unloaded and we'll get the plowing done. Well, there we go. Got that done. The uh, it looks all right, you know. It was, hadn't been. I don't think it's been plowed in a few years, and the, and the sides are all built up, you know, with leaves and crud, and the sod's kind of high. But we peeled that off. The old John Deere took care of it. Um, if you ever need to plow snow, get yourself one of them 
little mini John Deere four-wheel drive tractors. They're amazing. That's a 585. I don't know. They make a 700-something series now, but um, they are a great tractor. Uh, they, they mows good and plows great. So uh, that's it. Uh, I guess we're I guess we're done here. Hopefully, hopefully I'm out of here for good until some more light bulbs blow or something. Again, I just want to encourage you to. Just get out and do something in your in your in your neighborhood in your town whatever if you can if you see something that needs to be done don't don't wait around for somebody else to do it don't uh don't just complain about it just do it if it's something you can do uh it's it's it feels good it it is good it's good for the good for the community people see you and they they go home and say hey maybe i could do something so it's kind of contagious um in fact i'm hoping maybe somebody that lives a little closer here would take over the plowing of this thing or they could run their snowblower down it or whatever so just uh you know if you if you like anything you see here on the channel make sure you click subscribe that's how the numbers game works i need i need you to click it uh heck if you want to just click the little bell a anybody knows what the little bell does but i guess you're supposed to click it so do that for me if you would i'd really appreciate it uh i guess that's it for now Till next time, thanks for watching. God bless America. That's for you, Stevie.